so much for getting to Detroit on time. All of a sudden at the rest stop rolls in a 3.8 liter Buick turbocharged and it ain't no stinking Grand National. It's one of 61 century two-door colonnade roof, do they call this? Yeah. Is that a 125 mile an hour splatter? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't have to worry. Yeah, you gotta drive them. This is what led to the Grand National six or seven years later. Yeah, injecting lots of hot air. Yeah, we just can't believe what we're seeing here. <laughs> it's shocking to see one of these. And there was a Buick meet in South Bend. Yes. How do you like that? No way. I've got too many stinking vehicles. Turbo 3.8, the fellow ordered it brand new, worked for Buick Engineering, and knew exactly what he was getting, put on the first 25,000 miles, the first two years, and ever since then, it just toodles around. Seldom used. Turbo Coupe, can't recall ever seeing one of these. This used to be chrome, as I recall. Some of the trim is blacked out, and some of it is beautifully anodized, polished anodized. Let's read the options. Power six-way seat, color-coordinated custom seat belts, manual seat back recliner passenger, soft ray tinted glass, carpet savers and handy mats, door edge guards, two-speed windshield wiper with low-speed delay feature, electric rear window defogger, litter pocket, Cadillac style. Litter pocket. How much was that? Nine dollars. Full length operating console. Cruise Master. No charge for Cruise Master. Oh no, rear axle 308. Cruise Master engine 231 cubic inch, 3.8 liter with four barrel carb turbocharged. 470 bucks. That was almost 10% of the price of the car. Automatic transmission, tilt steering column, sport steering wheel. Power steering fast ratio order code N41. Steering steel belted radial tire, white oval, white billboard, letter tires, chief. 205 7014s, convenience, group, sunshade, map, trunk, glove box, compartment, ashtray, courtesy lights, headlamp indicator, heavy duty battery, automatic power antenna. That's such a nuisance when these won't start, the antenna goes up, then it goes down. With carburetors, of course, because things used to stall. Heavy duty cooling system. Bumper guards, front and rear, turbo coupe package includes special suspension, sporty exhaust. Hang on a second. Ah, is that sporty? And it's detailed. My mother's Grand Prix had that, but hers had oval outlets. Welded oval outlets, the last couple inch on the Grand Prix. SJ, not the LJ, the SJ. The LJ had cushioned seats. The SJ had a ratchet shifter hmm. on the Grand Prix. Subtle differences. Mm -hmm. Bumper guard, turbo coupe, sporty exhaust, four turbine wheels and specific identification, body side stripes, black trim, bucket seats in tan cloth, $181. This GM vehicle is equipped with a General Motors engine manufactured in a General Motors plant operated by Buick, Flint, Michigan. I still have the original wheels too. Had the, home, but I still have the original. Because it had the turbine wheels, right, which Pontiac started when they had the honeycomb wheels in 1970. 5400 options, $4,000, $3,000 of options, almost half, more than half the price of the car. She's sweet. Still got the catalytic converter. Not on it, it's no. It's got a test tube. I have it, but I don't have it on it. It's got a test tube. They used to sell it, test it's tubes. It's made for exhaust other than the converter exhaust. Oh, I see. And you got glass packs. Are those original? That's the factory sporty exhaust. Oh, that's what that was? Those are original. Really? Yep. And I see the thick Z-Bart undercoating. Tough coat. Same stuff. Yeah. Now they use something called fluid film, which is not Z-Bart, but it's a good product. And he watches my videos on YouTube. We live in the rusty north, so you got to coat your vehicles. Can you just crank this paper? This stuff is amazing because I get under and I have to work on it or something. I put some shocks on it just the other day. Uh-huh. Plus years, you touch it, you still get that black stuff all over your hands. It's got to stay wet. Well, you don't drive it in the winter. Can we just hear what it sounds like? The this is the even fire 3800, 3.8 liter. Crank that baby up.
40 exhaust. I love it. It's like the General Motors had that on the uh, Corvette and Chevelle chambered exhaust. So that baby rumble. It's a beauty. I'm Corvair Wild on YouTube. I make far too many videos, but I enjoy looking at good American iron. What a beauty. How lucky I am to see it on the way back from the Buick meet. Can't go to all the shows. Corvair, Chevy trucks. 25,000 miles. What's that? Did it have 25,000 or 26,000 miles? 56. Oh, 50, 56. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you for giving us a demonstration. Thanks for asking about it. Can't believe how that door closes perfectly. You gotta keep those hinges looped. The doors are so heavy. Listen to that rumble. Oh yeah. Love it. Sporty exhaust. Alright, how do you like that? Good eye, you spotted it. <laughs> He's gone. Taking the Detroit exit. Look at those big clouds. We're following the Turbo Coupe. Ain't she sweet? Ordered brand new and it's rare. One of 61 produced. Sporty exhaust. Turbo coup. Yahoo! Love it. Into the Michigan sunset. <laughs>